What's up guys, how you doing today? And welcome to another episode of JDTV Co. And today we're going to cover a little bit of everything. And I wanted to talk about pliers. I was, walk I was watching last night, I was watching the YouTube. And one of my favorite YouTubers, who, who's one of my favorite YouTubers, Nick? CP. CP. And he was talking about made in Taiwan, made in China, made in America. Okay? And he was saying... Literally, what I always said is that the gloves are off. There's no way we could possibly be a made in USA society these days because it just, we're a global economy. The internet has made us a global economy. In order to compete on any level, you're going to have to do a little bit of importing and exporting. I was talking to somebody on the way to work today. One of our, Joe's going to a baseball game with him next week. Okay. Mm -hmm. One of our uh, friends who's a manufacturer of tools, and he was at a tool show, and some guy was yelling about him, yelling at him about being made in America, starting to make, 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 make made in America stuff. I wonder what show it was. So, thi so this person said to him, you should start a made in USA company, and in two months, I'll buy it when you go out of business. <laughs> 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 it's true. Does he need a partner? <laughs> Does he need a partner? Yeah, he needs a partner. But yeah, it's crazy. I mean, like, we, now listen. What's here made in China? Oh, I want them something made in China. Okay. These pliers are made in China. These cutting pliers. They're pretty good. Okay. And we sell them for, I don't even know what, probably 16, 18 bucks, something like that. 20 bucks. Doesn't even matter. I sell them on a tool truck predominantly because it's a really good pair of pliers. And my guys love them. And I get about $29 from on a tool truck. And I'll put them up against anybody's. But that's not what we're here to talk about. It's got my name on it, too. These are made in China. Okay? These we had made for us from our friends at Easy Red. And it's a three piece set of pliers. These are made in Taiwan. Great quality. Great pliers. And then we have our three piece cutting set that's also made in Taiwan. Nick, how much are these? These are 50 bucks, right? Yeah, 50. 50? 50, 69. 65. 65. Okay, so that, that's, that's a pretty good price. And they're, they're good tools. And they offer a lifetime warranty. We sold a lot of them at this point. Very, very few issues. A couple guys had a broken tip on a big one. Yeah, I don't know what the hell they were using them for. Well, ah, if they're pliers. It's a hammer. It's anything you want it to be. But, you know, it, it's things have been changing. Guys are pulling out of China. <laughs> Not that one. Guys are pulling out of the country of China for manufacturing because they don't want to deal with what's going on in the world with tariffs and communism. So where do we all go? Where do we go? Another nice communist state. Yeah. Tri uh, Vietnam. Vietnam. <laughs> I mean, I guess communists make good tools. Do you think it's because they make good tools or they're told to work, don't say nothing, and work cheap? Or slavery, definitely. I think it's <laughs> the latter. <laughs> the latter. But are I mean, you actually, or maybe, or maybe you have people that actually want to work. Yeah, but I mean, like, you know, I mean, like, and it's funny because, like, Milwaukee really did a nice job with these pliers. I think they're second to none. I really think these are a work of art. They did a really good job with them. And not only did Milwaukee come out with this three-piece hose plier set for one fourteen, one fifteen, one fifteen, one fifteen, fourteen ninety-nine. Everybody had one fifteen, one fourteen ninety-four. That's why they confused me. But like, a lot of companies have the hose clamp, hose clamp, pl hose removing pliers. But Milwaukee did a little something. They gave it full serra serrations that work and a spot to grab a nut or bolt or something like that if you have to. Most don't have that, but they did it. Three-piece set. In innovation, the more you open them, the thinner they get. Everybody else, is, everybody else, the more you open it, the wider it gets. But they really did a good job with these. They're geniuses over there. But it's Vietnamese. I mean, if you have a problem with Vietnam tools, then maybe they ain't for you. But I mean, like, you don't have much of a choice these days, guys. Does anyone make a hose plier set in the USA? Not that I'm aware of. The only person that would make a pair of, ply, a pair of hose clamp pliers, hose clamp, hose removing pliers, would be channel lock and I do not think they make one back in the day when I was a Mac to, uh, I'm sorry when I was a field Mac tool dealer there was a company called American Plier Company and they made a three piece set of hose clamp hose remover pliers that were made in USA but boys and girls those days are long gone I'm sure that company is now defunct they're probably selling rubber what a rubber dog shit rubber dog shit so they came so Milwaukee also came out with these this is a two piece plier set you googling me are you fact checking me yeah, the only thing I see that's made in USA is the Lyle radiator hose removing pliers. Okay. That's made in USA? Yeah, stamp steel. 
Wow makes a lot of stuff in USA, guys, but they can't make everything because it's just not feasible. Extra long, needle nose, pliers, straight, and is that a 45 or 90? Don't test you. What is that? That's a 45. Ah, Joe? 45. You guys are good. And again, they, <clears throat> they get, I like what they did here. They gave us some, some special shapes on there so you can grab nuts, bolts, stuff like that. So you could use it for what <clears throat> it's not supposed to be used for. So, cause, dude, let me tell you something. If you grab the Sun X or a snap on one of these and try to get a bolt, it would just go, it wouldn't even slow down. At least Milwaukee tried something different, trying to be innovative. Speaking of innovation, did you, have you seen the new Milwaukee Impact yet? I haven't physically seen it. You seen a picture of it? Seen pictures of it. What did they do to it, Nick? To make what's the new thing they made? They did to the new half inch impact that's coming out soon. They put a battery isolation. Oh, the battery out. isolation system. Take the vibration out. Yeah. Do you think they're still going to use this? I, I would recommend them to. It looks a little. It looks a little. <laughs> Goosey -goosey. Guys, you don't want that battery jiggling around too much. You might want to hold it in place with one of these. That was one of the main questions people were asking. What's that? If it, they fix that problem. I think we fixed the problem. I think with this and that, we'll never see another broken battery again. But I think it's going to need a little uh, a helping hand to hold it gently in place. Like Jesus, caressing a baby's bottom. It's a <laughs> what, do we, what do we use that one for back in the day? Oh, with the, uh, the ratchet. Oh. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. Let me tell you something. I don't, you know what? Guys, what can it possibly hurt? It's going to hold it a little... Let me tell you it's something. still going to need it for the Sawzall. Some guy oh called up yesterday and asked if it'll work on the Sawzall. I said that's probably the second best selling... It's, yeah, it's definitely what you want. The Sawzall, the Sawzall is crying out for this thing. Now listen, I, I'm going to double down and order extra because I think we're going to need it more now than ever. What do you think about that? These pliers are finally in stock. This is the Lyle Electrical Disconnect Pliers. These things are literally a work of art. Well, I think they could have done a little better with the, the, the quality control of them, but that's a fish for another fry. But the, the functionality of it is amazing. I use these. I de did a full demo on these, and they really work nice. And if you don't have this in your toolbox and you're tired of breaking clips, trust me, this will change your life. Get a set. $34 are in stock, free shipping, no, no, no secret charges. Right, Nick? No. We're seeing a lot of that on there. They're less there, but you got to pay shipping and there's a handling charge. Don't miss that. Are yeah. really in stock? Yes. Joe, show them what we got, buddy. I got a shopping cart full. And it was a lot more full yesterday than it is today. Yeah. We, so. finally, we are finally caught up. Yes. We are finally caught up, and we have some that we can tell you guys, send it. We have them. They'll ship out as soon as you pay. Yes. That's, that's nice to see, because we've been waiting for a while for these. Well, I haven't looked at what's it called yet. They're shipping yet, so I don't know what we owe out. Yeah, I've seen a couple. I mean, listen, I, my, my, phone has, my phone has went wild last night with a, three, a few $34 orders, so I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you, you, ha sure you got it. I'm sure you'll be sending some out the door today. Okay. But then it's it's like everybody wants USA tools, right? We remember we remember we, we posted the USA made the, the made USA flyers. Yes. And what happened, Nick? The internet lost their mind. Yeah. They said Nipix Nipix is better. I'm oh like, yeah, there's a lot of thirty-four dollars. I told you. On here. And I'm like, yeah, Nipix are great pliers, but this is an American company. We're trying to support American-made companies whenever we can. So we're going to try to get them in front of you guys. <clears throat> we're going to try to get the American-made tools in front of you guys so you can buy them. We'll give you the option to buy them. Okay, so what? The, but but wait, there's more. Milwaukee. No, nobody has more money than Milwaukee, right? Nobody. What company has more money than Milwaukee Tool Company? Tool wise? Yeah. Don't say Snap On because Snap On owes Milwaukee twenty six million dollars. Do you know that? Yeah. Do you know that, Joe? No, but that that's an interesting rabbit hole to go down. I'll go down it. You don't think I will? I think it's another episode. Yeah. You can Google it right now, Joe. Google. Hey guys, Google it. Leave in the comments below if you know this. Milwaukee sued Snap-on for $26.9 million and won because they stole their battery technology. Oh, my God. Snap-on stole something. Imagine that. They stole a lot of things. Made in USA. Milwaukee stepped to the plate and had their pliers made in USA. And you said, well, you're probably saying, well, why don't they make these in USA? Well, guys, give them time. They just opened the factory up and they're already shooting out. I don't, do you know how many pliers they make now in USA? 
I don't. You don't, right? But it's, I'm sure it's more than these. It is more than these. Yeah. Yeah, they make a, this is a set of dikes. Yeah, they make a, so they're, they're coming out, they're coming out strong. Give them a minute. It ain't easy, but they're uh, going to be uh, up to par, up to, up and running in no time. Look at it right there. And, they, and let me tell you something. They put it here, and they put it right there. And what's nice about these, these are not forged. These are laser made. And they did that because why? Do you know why they did that? To keep the cost down. Because when you're competing with uh, companies that make stuff in communist places and there's... Or guns, yourself. Go, huh? Or competing with yourself, with your other... <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you're, listen, you're, listen I, at the end of the day, they're tr I think they're trying to bring, bring it home. You ever hear well, I mean, their name Bring is on home. Name yeah. is Milwaukee. So I mean, you kind of got to start making stuff in Milwaukee, or you can name a Ho Chi Minh. While while we're talking, enough of the pliers. Listen, I just want to talk pliers because it, it we are living in a global economy. There's no more Made in USA only. Them days are over. I mean, even even your beloved Snap On, who's like Made in USA, all their wrenches, sockets, some of their pliers Made in USA, but they're selling you a waffle iron made in China. So they're just averaging down. Right or wrong? It's just that's all it is. They'll sell you. They'll sell you an electric toothbrush. How many meetings do you think they had where somebody was like, "We really got to make something for the for the girls." You know, you know they went down a rabbit hole and they probably pulled back last minute. But you know what's been in the talks? If they're making an electric toothbrush and a grilled cheese maker for the campfire, you don't think that's been? They, they talked about that? Probably have. Of course they have. Let me run that company. I'll make you money. Snap on sells an electric toothbrush. Of course they do, Joe. The Snap-on strap-on. Snap-on sells everything. They sell remote control cars. They sell popcorn makers, smokers, pizza ovens. They sell anything they can put their name on. They'll sell you rubber dog shit if they put, if they put their name on so it. So they don't care about mechanics. They don't care about mechanics. They care about the second oh, no, leak we're, house. We're getting they care canceled. About, I don't care. Can, do me a favor. Cancel this. I, 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 I could take a day off. You think I wanted to work today? I didn't want to work today. And I got to go in a tool truck. It's 100 degrees out in New Jersey. Am I caught... You said I'm drinking today, right? Oh, no. Yeah, I saw that. I was really yeah. thrown off. I'm drinking Quick Check oh. Coffee. You know why? Because they changed my coffee maker in my house, and I f***ing hate it. Oh, no. Listen, I will drive by 100 Dunkin' Donuts to get a locally made cup of coffee because it's always better than Dunkin' Donuts trash. I'll drink Starbucks if I had it, but I don't really like it. I used but you to want the Quick Check today. They have good coffee. They have good coffee. Listen, I was I was in a rush, but I want my old coffee machine back where it, where it was. Anyway, tools, guys, tools. Go to the top with Top Don. <laughs> Yo, Top Don, cut the check. I gave you a tag a tagline. We're still waiting for them to come in here. Listen, they need to come in here and do a I'm demo. I'm laughing because Joe had to hold up a sign. <laughs> okay. Funny. One quick story. I'm in my tool truck last week. Show one of my customers. And I love this guy, Frank. I love Frank. I'm showing him the latest Top Don Phoenix whatever scanner. He's like, oh, can I see that? I'm like, yeah, Frank, you can open a box. Go ahead. He's like, can I open a box? And I'm like, yeah. And I hate to tell Frank no because Frank put a lot of scanners through the years for me. But normally on my tool truck, I don't like taking scanners out of boxes because they get fingerprints on them, they get dirty. Then if we have to ship one out of here, I can't sell it because it looks like it's used, correct? Yeah. So Frank, who I love Frank, opens the, opens the box up. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm smoking a cigar because I always smoke a cigar in my tool truck. And he's looking at the scanner, and he plop, 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 drops the scanner. Now, it's not in the box. It's out of the packaging, out of everything. It falls down, hits my cigar. Ashes go flying. It goes boom, boom, down the steps. <laughs> Are you serious? So I pick it up. This scanner is covered in ashes. Covered. So now I'm trying to blow the ashes off. My mouth doesn't close, so I really can't blow that good. So I'm trying to blow the ashes off. I get, a, I get a rag, clean it off. The screen is scratched up now. I'm like, this just cost me $2,000 because I took the scanner out of the box. Did he buy it? Of course he didn't buy it. That story, that story made me sad, you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to bring it to the show. You're going to see. It's all banged up, scratched up. What? Next time something like that happens, we have to do a dramatization, like like on court TV. We could do it, Joe. When I drop something here, guys, it's usually out of the box or it's not going to get hurt in the box. Top on! This is what happens when I have a caffeine in the morning. Now I come here and I'm all ca Go to the top with Top Don. 
I was I was talking about the scanner on TikTok the other day. That the, that, that the Modelo guy troll, the troll. He 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 must have commented on every 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 video we did last night, like trying to troll me. And it's, he's just he, he's like low hanging fruit. I'm like, dude. Oh, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Go to the top with Top Dog. <laughs> now, I was talking about the scanner, and we sell a lot of different scanners here, a lot of different price points. But this scanner here is $70. And for $70, it's a great little code reader and also a battery tester. It, I mean, think about it. $70, it's going to test your battery and clear codes. It's a, that's a win-win situation. And we got them in. We only bought like a handful of them at first. Now we sell them like crazy. They, these, this, these things fly out the door. It's a $70 code reader battery tester you're not going to get a better deal anywhere in the world on this okay so this battery tester for 139 dollars is the best bang for your buck in battery testing possible and the good thing about this is what nick what what gives you a printout okay nick it gives you a printout yes it gives you a printout it gives you a printout most times you've got to, you buy a battery tester, it costs you five hundred dollars because you because you, you know with a printer. For one thirty nine, you got a printer. Now you say I don't need a printer. Well, because you think like this inside the box. I'll tell you why you need a printer. So when the customer comes in and you show them here, your battery's no good in black and white. Now they're like, oh yeah, I need a battery. If you tell them, hey, your battery's dead, they're like, yeah, my battery's fine. <laughs> my, nothing wrong with my battery. When I jump my buddy's truck out there, I gave him the printout and said, you clearly need a new battery. It was at like 40% or something like that. Anyway, listen to me. Go to the top of Top Don. Scanners, code readers, <clears throat> and we have a full line of Top Don in stock and Altel. Why I got to bring Altel into this? Well, because it's, it's on the shelf there. But... Right now, we're just pushing the smaller of these because we're waiting for Top Don to come in and visit us, right, Nick? Yes. And they're going to give us the full McGill on what's going on with all the Top Don stuff. But right now, I have used this, and I have used this, and I'm telling you, for $70 and for $139, you can't get something better. You can't. Right? I wish we had the booster packs in here, but we're sold out of them right now. Oh, we sold a lot of those, didn't we? Yeah. Which is also a battery tester and booster pack. The Altel 2200 booster pack. Top Don. Start again. The Top Don 2200 booster pack is like no other. It's a beautiful, it's like a work of art. And it's also a battery tester, which is nice because when you're over there jumping your car for the 40th time that month, you can say, oh, look, it says my battery's bad. I can start my car, but I may need to buy a new battery. That's a good. That's genius. Nothing for nothing. We sell a lot of the All Star booster packs too. Yeah, we do. And these things work. Yes. Clearly, I have one. I think this one got worn out, Nick. What do you think? I think so. All right, listen. To me. My head's spinning. I need to get my caffeine allotment back up. Because people say I'm drinking. It's I'm I'm caffeinated. Yeah, things would be really counterproductive if we started drinking at nine thirty in the morning here. Yeah, it's nine nine twenty six. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind it. I would just... I don't think we would get a lot done. No. Hang on. There's my Porsche. If Modelo man, if you're watching, there's my Porsche. I know. You're driving a crapped out Honda Civic, but what do I know? Let's, you, listen, don't piss off the Honda owners. They're, that's a cult. I love Hondas. I do. We, I discussed this in my last video. All right, guys, listen to me. I'm going to wrap this up because I'm getting a little tired. I'm getting a little sweaty. It's 100 degrees outside already, and it's 930 in the morning. Go to the top of Top Don. See, it's so I want the camera with the, the you said it's like $5,000. I, I think we need it. Oh, you want something like, like that? Ready? You want to get these? Go to the top of Top Don. Let's do it again. Go to the top of Top Don. <laughs> what <laughs> all right hey guys like we always say come for the price and stay for the show peace